Hello everyone and welcome to Morgavish channel. Some time ago I get a request from one of my favorite subscribers, Weapon Man, and he asked me to do shuriken sparring. And I know how this sounds and I would lie if I would say it was easy because it took me some time to think how to even start it. But I get some ideas and before that let's talk about shurikens. Everyone know them is a favorite ninja's throwing stars. And a lot of people believe that this weapon wasn't for killing, that this was for hurting or distracting your opponent to run away or wherever. But when I have seen the video from Weapon Man who test different types, different styles, shapes, sizes, flavors of shuriken on the peak head. And I am not a specialist, but I believe that pig head is harder than human's head and I have seen a video when somebody hit pig in the head with big axe and this pig was still alive and just imagine how it would be with the human if you hit somebody with big axe in the head probably would just lay on the ground like a dead fish but not this pig she was running around and this is why I believe that animals have a stronger bones and skin than humans but I'm not a specialist so you don't have to you know, agree with me. That pig head, it's pretty thick, thicker than a human head. That skin is thicker than human skin. I'm not that good at throwing these, but we're gonna see what we can do. So you should go and see the video from Weapon Man because I was super surprised about the damage what these shurikens can do to the uh, head of the pig. And this is pretty hard target. Uh, what would happen if you get hit somewhere, you know, some soft spots. So let's talk about uh, sparring. We did few different types of sparring, but I will call them a test. So test number one was that my friend have a katana and I have a shurikens. And when I see that he drawing his weapon and if I am fast enough, then I can try to stop him with my shurikens and run away. This was the first test. The second test was that we both have a katanas, actually ninja and katana, but doesn't matter. We have a weapons and we fight each other. It was a normal sparring, but in the middle of the sparring, I could throw on him a shuriken to give him extra damage or distract him and run away or whatever. So the last test was for me the most interesting because I just took shuriken to my hand and I was thinking how I would use it. And I was thinking like if you can use a close range weapon like a knife or axe to throw, then why you cannot use a throwing weapons in close range? Because basically this is a tiny knife and it's small, you can hide it everywhere because it's flat and you can also have a smaller size or whatever you can decide the size of your shuriken and this is how I would use it because I would just hide it and we would, could just talk or you know drink a tea with somebody talk about something and then just bah, stick to somebody's neck
whoa, stick to somebody's neck or wherever and run away because you cannot see that it's no time for reaction and especially if you wear a gi or you wear a, like a classic uh, Japanese daily day wear like a jinbei so when you have a jinbei like this normally they have a a small pocket in the front and if I put a shuriken over there you cannot see it at all but for example if I take some kind of knife doesn't matter what kind of knife if I put knife here you can see and even if this would be smaller knife you could still see the shape of the knife in the pocket but with the shuriken you cannot see anything because it's small and flat and laying nicely on your belly and of course you can get even smaller version than this and I know you can tell me that you can hurt yourself with the second part of the shuriken and maybe it's a true but if I can kill somebody and just get a small scratch on my hand then, then I'm okay with that I'm really okay and you know this is my shuriken I can decide how I made it so I can just make a sharp only on the top you don't have to go all the way uh, on this thing to make it sharp and to be honest you don't have to make sharp at all because pointy things like to get into soft stuff even without being sharp and yeah so this is how i would see the shuriken things in the sparring if you have any better ideas you can let me know down below in the comment section and now i'm going to use some clips from weaponsman video but i will not show you everything because you should go and see his video and i'm going to use just clips just to show you what would happen if you get hit with the shuriken just to make this more realistic and you can see the damage And if you look, we did reach bone. Gave us this nasty cut. I could stick my finger all the way in there. That is all the way through the skin. This one would have definitely incapacitated you. Putting my thumb on the bone, not the skin. We're checking bone chop here. We got bone chop like that. That would have put you out of the fight. And if it didn't, you're a monster and it would have still slowed you down so this is it i have nothing more to say and nothing more to show and i hope that you enjoy this kind of content and i am waiting for more requests from you guys and we'll see if i can make them work and yeah thank you for watching and see you next time <laughs>